Hey, how's it going? So yeah, I'm all in my grubby clothes and ain't shave or nothing this morning, but I'm gonna get started on my RX-7 here, uh, finally there, so basically I'm just gonna do a whole video series of like from starting out with the engine pulling in here all together and stuff to pulling it out, rebuilding it, porting it, and uh, putting it back in and breaking it in and all that, so basically I'm just gonna start by taking like the air box out and all the ducting for the intercooler and like every all the auxiliary stuff off first there, so that's all just basic stuff and uh, pull the battery out. So I'm just gonna get going on that, and uh, once I get into some harder stuff, I'll show you that. Yeah, so you can see I got a lot of the stuff out of there. Like basically everything I took out was just uh, 10 millimeter bolts, uh, like other than like the hose clamps and stuff. But so uh, basically the next thing to start doing is I'm gonna have to take off the intake manifold and then start working on uh, getting like all the the wiring and stuff disconnected there because pretty much you just leave like the engine wiring harness like in the car when you pull it out and then it makes it a bit easier there so just about to pull the upper intake manifold off and then I'll get some more videos of that there so here I'll show you one thing I did uh, before I pull off the intake manifold there uh, it says like in the service manual to uh, just take off the power steering pulley pump and then so you can get to the mounting bolts and then leave the power steering pump like in the car and everything there so you don't disconnect the lines but you need some special tool that goes in there to hold it and uh, so you can uh, loosen that nut off there and everything but uh, I just left the belts tension and uh, zipped it off with my impact gun so that worked out pretty good so might help you guys out if you're ever doing that so just hold on I'll get working on this yeah, so I got the intake off there, so it was pretty easy. Just a couple fucking hoses and shit there, but we got guests here. Freaking can't get nothing done now. Oh, e you're chooching the e-cigarette? Yeah. <coughs> Not the e-cigarette. That last one was a good one, made me cheech. <laughs> yeah, so I showed you I got the intake off before there, but I got the, the downpipe down there. It's all off, so it's pretty good. So right now, I'm just going to go around and start uh, disconnecting all the wiring for all like then fuel injectors and all that, disconnect the fuel lines, drain like the rad and the oil, and then uh, disconnect the rad hoses there. And once I do that, I can just unbolt the transmission and the engine should just pop right out there. So I'm just going to get working on that. Hey, how's it going? So it's a new day now. I went home, shaved, took a shower. The girlfriend wouldn't let me in the bed, uh, all grubby like that. So I don't know. I had those guests there yesterday, so I didn't get everything done I wanted to do. But... Uh, we sat around just smoked like 200 cigarettes, like, look, you can tell. Look at them all there, they're just everywhere. Freaking tons of cigarette butts there. I don't know, but anyways, I'm going to get back working on this. I'll pick up where I left off yesterday there. So you can see I started like disconnecting some wires and all that. No, just over here I got the alternator disconnected and everything there. So just got to take off the coil pack rack thing there so I can get to the uh, rat's nest underneath so I don't know I'll go over the parts that I've already taken off so you can see like the intake manifold and the down pipe then like all the intake pipe in there and battery tray power steering pulley and the air box and uh, I don't know so it doesn't look like a lot of parts when you're looking at the actual parts pile but like under the hood it clears out a lot of space for you there so I'm just going to get back working on that and I'll uh, get some more clips up after. Yeah, so I got the vacuum rack out there, uh, the rat's nest or whatever with all the solenoids and stuff there. So I can get to the actual main wiring harness and everything now so I can start disconnecting the fuel injectors and all that. So uh, that's pretty much done once I uh, finish those off. And I can tuck the wiring harness off to the side and uh, pretty much start working underneath here. I'll show you what the vacuum rack looks like see there's just a whole bunch of like metal lines I think there's like almost 80 meters of uh, vacuum hose in this car so there's a lot like this is just the stuff for the emissions and all that and the sequential turbo so I don't know I'll get working back on this alright so I ended up just taking off the alternator there so because uh, I had to get down here to hit my light for you yeah you can see the crank position sensors there so I had to get those off uh, but there was like a pressure chamber right there and then the alternator so I just undid those they have to come off anyways but pretty much have the wiring harness all like stuck off to the side now so I'm just gonna get underneath and start uh, unbolting shit under there and uh, should be good 
So here's a little update for the parts pile here. So you can see I got the alternator right there and there's that pressure chamber thing I took off, the rat's nest, intake manifold, downpipe, and all the intake pipe in there. So it doesn't really look like a lot there, but then you look in the engine bay and it's like almost bare now. So just gonna keep working away at that. Got all the wiring tucked up there, it's all good. Like basically everything's done up top here except for the I just have to disconnect the lines on the power steering pump and pull that out so I can uh, disconnect the lines on the AC compressor. But uh, like other than that, like I'm just draining the fluids right now. So you can see like the oil's just dripping away a little bit there. So got that going. So after the oil, I'm gonna do the power steering pump, then uh, drain the rad up front here. So once those are done, I can like wheel it forward, get it underneath my uh, engine lift there, and start pulling it out. Alright so I got the power steering pump off, the AC lines all disconnected there so like everything's done up top here so I'm just draining the rad now so I got the oil drained, uh, power steering fluid drained so once this is done uh, just have to disconnect the two oil cooler lines there it's just like two little clips and then uh, push it forward toss the intake back on and I can uh, pull the engine out finally. Okay, so I moved it up just underneath uh, my engine hoist there, so I don't know, everything's like ready to go now, so I'm just uh, going to unbolt the transmission there, I just got to crawl underneath and uh, put a little jack underneath there just to su uh, support the transmission, but I don't know, once I get the, the transmission bolts out, I just have to unbolt the two uh, engine mounts there and toss the intake on, I have to undo my hood there and take that off there, but it's pretty easy if you do it yourself ever you can like just leave it on the stand there just kind of keep it balanced and undo the bolts there and just lift it off yourself like that's what I usually always do so I don't know I'm just gonna get working on that and uh, hopefully the next clip will be uh, me pulling my engine out alright so here's the moment of truth here I got it all hooked up to my crane there so uh, I'm just gonna crawl underneath and uh, loosen off the engine mounts I got all the weight off it pretty much now so once I undo those two bolts there, I'll set the camera up and uh, start pulling it out. Alright, so I got the camera all set up here. Hopefully this works. just want to make sure like nothing's still connected. Should be good though. Get the pry bar and freaking pry her off the transmission a little bit. Just gotta remember where I put it. I'll start off on this side. I'm gonna kind of block the view for a minute here. Yeah, so you can see where I have the chain hooked up there, the freaking one bolt just snapped though, that's kind of sketchy. So, frick. 
pretty useless. Put a freaking little engine, like freaking lift point there, and it just snaps. So I'll have to figure something else out. All right, so this thing's giving me like fucking major troubles right now. Like, can't get the transmission to pop off the or the engine to pop out of the transmission there. So you can see like it's separated, and I start jacking it up there, and uh, it'll go off. But these things are just the biggest piece of crap ever like if you're thinking about putting one of these in your shop don't just go and buy a freaking cherry picker like I had a hell of a time doing an engine on a neon I thought it was just because it was the neon but this is like just freaking retarded yeah so I don't know I'm gonna go home eat supper and uh, I'll come back and get this thing out cuz like frig I've been I jack it up a little bit try to get it separated Freaking it'll like pinch up at the top there, so I don't know, I'll go eat, come back and mess around with it some more. Alright, so yeah, I found out what I was doing wrong. I guess there's a, on these they have the pull-out style clutch, but I, you have to go in there and uh, release the throw-out bearing there. So I did that, so it should just pop right out now, so hopefully. So I like my smoke. Try it there again. Uh -oh. Gotta Justin.
Yeah, so there you go. We got the rotary engine all out there, sitting on the floor. So I'll show you what was giving me the trouble there. So I'm always used to like the like push style clutches, but yeah, so I had to go in there and push this little ring in there, and uh, so I could get the throw out bearing out of there. So should be good now, but I don't know. This is my first time working on these cars. I knew they had the pull style clutches, but I didn't know you had to like release them and all that like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video here. So in the next video, I'm gonna just start uh, stripping down all the accessories there and uh, start working on uh, getting it all ready to go, like for the teardown and stuff. So be taking off the turbos and all that. So you can see the turbos a bit right there. So I don't know. So yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.